Hey, this is Dave Rudden from and, OXM. And Chris Antista interrupting Dave Rudden from OXM. Mm-hmm. And no, we're going to show you the Amazon app yep. that just appeared on the 360 today because, mm-hmm. one, it's pretty cool. And I think there are millions of Amazon Prime subscribers that may not even know they have access to this. But if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, it's free. Yes. So it's, what is it, under the video tab. And, uh, yeah, I, I like it a lot, but I thought it'd be interesting to showcase um, what's cool about it, what's not so great about it, or what can be improved. I do think it has a great interface. Yeah. But if you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, I mean, the things it has that uh, other streaming apps don't have. If you subscribe to Amazon Prime, you get free two-day shipping on all your yeah. Amazon products. There's no real-world uh, application to any other streaming technology. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There yeah. we are. There we are. Such a wide variety of content. A um, wide variety of content. Like, so go <laughs> if you go over to Prime Movies. All right. So I figured this would take too long to explain to most people. But... Um, if you look, it, the content and the, str- and the free streaming stuff, all of this is free. Everything under Prime Movies is free. But, uh, like, click on Popular. Like, everything in the store, mostly, like, 80% of it is available on Netflix or Hulu. Yeah. But some mean of Girls, this, for example. Yeah, Mean sure. Girls, is that available? I'm pretty sure that's on Netflix. And, uh, but some of that stuff isn't. Like, I don't know if Mission Impossible 3 is up there. Forrest Gump. Yeah? The Feathered Classic. Yes. I don't know if that is up there. Um... Not but sure yeah, there's, there is definitely some exclusive stuff, but it's not necessarily new stuff. So yeah. if you back out of here, though, this is what I think is cool. See, I thought I thought you could buy new movies on here. You can't do that, unfortunately. You can buy it. I, I, I you know, I have literally just upgraded to Amazon Prime today. Right now. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm still getting around it, but I don't think you can actually find uh, videos to purchase. You can do it through Amazon.com. Uh huh. And then they will show up here. Oh. Yes. Uh, oh, they will? Yes. Uh, oh, okay. I actually just did that. I made my first uh, rental purchase. What? And it's uh, in my video library right now. Uh, it cost me a grand total of 99 cents. And that's that's what's, like, unlike the Xbox Live Marketplace, the prices are less static. Yes! I've got the Riding Danger Field Classic. Hey, bugs. No respect. Yep. It's got a cross-dressing... Um, what's his face? Jonathan Brandis. Yes. God rest his soul. Oh, man. It's I was going to make that joke soul. first. All right, Ladybugs is all well and good, mm-hmm. but I do want to say Amazon is like the only place in the world where you can get Bobcat Bol- Goldthwait's Immortal Hot to Trot. The horse talking movie. On your 360, but uh, yeah, here's a look at the TV shows, and I think if you already subscribe uh, to Netflix and Hulu, you're going to see a lot of overlap. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are some exclusive things. I think they've, uh, they've signed a big deal with Discovery, and uh, Nickelodeon has like mm-hmm. almost all their shows in here. Oh, Alf! F- hey! Alf! That would oh that's so awesome I Watch, know that I know for a fact that's not on Netflix. Uh, ask me how uh, how difficult ask me how difficult it is to watch Alf streaming on Xbox. How difficult is it? No problem. <laughs> See Alf impression check. Um, then over here we got some Sesame Street. Yep. Again, you will find a lot of this mirrored elsewhere, but like twenty four lost their like mainstays on Netflix. Yeah, I, I do like I just like um, yeah a lot of you guys already subscribe. Take like, boss. I, Sorry. Big Boss. Um, Doug- we have Fraggle. Oh, Fraggle Rock. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. But what I do like, what I really do like is uh, some of the browsability. I know Netflix has genres that are sometimes they make up. Yes. Uh, and that don't really apply to your taste. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hulu Plus seems to think uh, genres are specified by movie and TV. I mm-hmm. want to tell them those aren't genres. <laughs> but what I really like here is that uh, they go out of your way to sort of highlight Stuff you might not know is on there. So look yeah. under editor's choice and look at that. Animated TV. What do we got here? So yeah, I wanted to take you guys through this because I figured it would take paragraphs of text to describe exactly what was on here. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, look at this. We're doing it quite succinctly right now. Yes. Editor's picks is pretty good. Cancel too soon. Oh my God. This is yes. going to be sad. These are practically all my favorite yes. shows. <laughs> that is so sad. With the exception of Better Off Ted. Yeah, and Studio 60. Not so great. And either. that... You know, The Office wasn't really canceled. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, there's tons of that stuff. Tons of BBC stuff. Like, yeah. uh, what do you think you'd end up watching on here? Best theme songs. Best theme songs for when you just want to watch the first uh, minute and 30 <laughs> seconds of a show. Oh, I wish we could play it here. Look at that. Who doesn't? That isn't a theme song, but I'd yeah. be like, submit it for your approval. Mm-hmm. The Scary Door. <laughs> well, in the Wonder Years, by the way, this is like the only place. You can't buy Wonder Years on DVD. Yeah. I love the Wonder Years. They, the theme song, I'll tell you, is not... Uh, Joe Cocker. Mm-hmm. I can say that on here, right? Yeah. Joe Cocker. Okay, yeah, it's not his. You can't say Joe. 
But yeah, a lot Saint of Joseph. a lot of the music's still there, and I'm pretty. Uh, it's pretty crazy because you'll see like how expensive the soundtrack is. Mm-hmm. Uh, what should we look at, Dave? What would you memorable moms? So like they oh for Mother's Day, which I think passed. It passed, but like that's what I like. At least they come up with themes, and like through here, I, I tend to find stuff I wouldn't have found just by browsing what's yeah. new and by genre. And they do keep these updated, barring the uh, whole Mother's Day aspect. Um, yeah. Guilty pleasures. I believe that's Jersey Shore in the mm-hmm. thumbnail. Okay, Dave, which one do you watch? Uh, Jersey Shore, yeah. Do you? Um, unfortunately. Hey, what? There, it, it's wow. kind of reconnecting to my East Coast roots, so. Look at that. 9021 Izzel. Oh, yeah. I can't believe that exists. I'm a big Buffy fan. I don't consider it a guilty pleasure. No. Then I don't have guilty pleasures. Yes. I, I wear I wear that on my sleeve. Top cups. <laughs> Well, this is just us browsing the story. Wanted to show you what was in there without you, like, in case you were thinking about subscribing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, if you already subscribed to Prime, this you yeah. have access to this immediately. Yep. So yep. that's pretty cool. And there are so many cool things outside of the Xbox that make it worth it, like the free two day shipping. Free two day shipping. And Kindle, like, uh, you can borrow like a book every month or something. You can borrow a book every month, and then like um, anything you get within. Within Amazon, you can watch yeah. in your Xbox, you can watch in your iPad, you can watch in your Kindle. That's pretty neat. Yeah. See, but yeah, pretty familiar territory as far as streaming goes, but it's still pretty dope, and occasionally they come up with exclusives of their own. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem like right now, I mean, unless you use the, uh, I don't know if the search uh, pulls up the purchasable stuff, mm-hmm. but. It doesn't seem to, because yeah, more than anything, trot, I wanted yeah. to highlight Hot hot to Trot, because that is yeah. not on DVD, so that's, that's another thing that's cool about Amazon, like mm-hmm. a bunch of stuff that's not on DVD. Who voiced the horse in that? I remember Bob John Cat- Candy. John Candy, oh my god, what a dream team right there. Exactly. And Dabney Coleman with fake teeth. Yeah. Are we boring the younger listeners out there? No, I can't they should know about that movie. Dumb and Dumber. I don't think that's streamable uh, on Netflix. Because Cause I, I check the app all yeah. the time. They had, they don't add a lot yeah. lately. Uh, so it's just nice to have options. And like if I love it. If you subscribe to Hulu Plus, mm-hmm. Netflix, and Amazon Prime, it's way cheaper than cable and it, gives it you is. a ton of options. Yes. Well, that is our walkthrough. We'll leave you with For the what Kids. Is. For the kids. Um, Nacho Libre is great for all ages. Yeah. One of the most underrated comedies, I think. Is it? Oh, I liked it. Curly, Curly Sue, Sue. Misha John Hughes, Ninja Turtles 2. Probably the best movie with Vanilla Ice in it. Yes. Of the two. Mm-hmm. Um, and The Witches, yeah, show that to your kids. It will scare <laughs> It will scare them senseless, and they will probably not like you for it. But that's our walkthrough. I'm Chris Antista. I'm Dave Rudden. We'll see you next time.